Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. So today I'm going to make video about how you can transfer your data from one phone to another one. Like I'm going to transfer everything from iPhone XS to an iPhone 11 Pro, which is like 256 gigabyte. So first thing we need to make sure about the phone we are going to transfer in. We need to see if the software is totally updated to the latest iOS, which is right here. So as it says that it's saying that iOS 15.5, iOS is up to date. So the next thing what we need to do is we need to go into the settings, go to general, and uh, then we need to go all the way down, transfer and reset iPhone, and now erase all content and settings. So I'll say that you need to continue enter your passcode and hit erase. So once you hit erase, it's going to erase your phone to like a factory unlock phone factory reset phone so we actually did factory reset this phone so once we're done with the factory reset i'm gonna wait until the reset completes and i'm gonna make it closer to the phone which has all the information and all the data we are going to transfer into the new phone so I'm just waiting for this phone to turn on and uh, I will show you what I'm waiting for and I'm waiting for the pop-up on this phone so as you are gonna see once this phone will boot up after the factory reset it's gonna show us something over here so just hold on a second there's this white line going on going on is as gonna get done gonna complete so it's gonna show you that so it will transfer everything each and every string from this iphone xs to this 11 pro you might be wondering why i'm transferring data on 11 pro why not 13 pro max or 13 pro i literally don't like those sizes and uh, that's why i prefer using iPhone XS as 5.8 screen size 11 Pro has the same one so that's the only reason I want it I tried using the 12 Pro and 13 Pro and I didn't like the size so that's only it. They're, they're, they're good phones though but it also depends on you how you are comfortable using the phone right all right so the phone is on as i'm going to start setup and start setting it up you can see the pop-up over here set up a new phone use your apple id and all this i'm going to hit continue over here and it's going to show me the code to scan on this phone so let's do it so i scan that code on the phone it's asking for the sim log i have a pin log on my sim card so i'm going to enter the phone code oh it denied because this one had a different passcode so here you go now it's gonna setting up my iphone it's gonna transfer everything from here to this one it might even ask you to enter your apple id password you can do it now you can do it later it's totally your choice you can skip it for now so let's just wait Apple iOS 16 or iOS 16 is out now. We are going to make video about the great features. The best feature they launched is, which I don't think so best. It can make trouble in people's life though. But you can unsend your messages, your regular text messages. It's asking for Face ID. I'm going to do it later. So. there is a weight loading going on right on the corner so let's just wait all right so transfer from an iphone click over here setting up your apple id it's going to ask for the apple id password over here which I might will skip it for now and uh, then we are going to proceed further.
Three. Continue, continue. Okay. I just work quick suggestions. Oh, I don't want to set up my cards over here. When you're going to try, I'll do that later. For the suggestion is that I will do that later. Later. Make sure when you're transferring your data from one phone to another one, either that should be of the same storage as your old phone or that should be higher not lower if your new phone is with the lower storage than the one you're using then it's never gonna transfer your data like this So we're gonna wait until it's gonna prepare to transfer and gonna done the transfer. Once the transfer will be completed, we will be all set. Meanwhile, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That's right down below. And uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon. So as you can see, transfers is already started. Alright, so as you can see, that transfer has been completed. Now, now it's gonna reboot one time and uh, it's, it's gonna turn on and uh, we can open this phone. It says that raise this phone, iPhone now. I'm not gonna do it right now because I wanna make sure everything has been transferred or to my new phone. So. It's just transfer around like 60, 61 GB of data. So that's why I don't want to erase it right now. So I just want to make sure that all of my account applications are on my new phone. All right, so just wait until it fully boots up and uh, Here you go. So this one is, oh, now you can see that everything is transferred. Continue. I don't want to set up face ID right now. We'll do it later. I will do my cards later in my wallet. That's fine. So as you can see, all of my applications have been transferred to the new phone same as is even it also copied my wallpaper from iPhone XS and all of the information is now on my this one 
it's going to take some time to load up all the applications and everything so uh, that's all you need to do to transfer your data from one phone to another one and uh, as you can see it's kind of like a clone it clone my old iphone to the new one all right so that's it for the day and uh don't forget to subscribe my channel have a good one bye bye